risk management applications of option strategies so if you understand this topic well now you don't need to read this again okay in fact i would not recommending you remembering the notations in which they have presented it in the reading i i would recommend you learning the logic why the notations were built in a particular fashion but if you don't understand this now then you are definitely going to struggle with some of the strategies so the first learning outcome is about having the long and short position on options so i'm going back to the basic flow chart that we had built to answer the first learning outcome options we know either they could be call or put then you can take one of the two positions either long or short so long or short long or short now the parties which are long will always have right so this party will have a right this party will have a right and the party which is short will always have a obligation so in case of long call that right is to buy so if you have a right to buy this party has to have a right to sell then this party will have a right to sell so this party has to have a obligation to buy then if you have a right if you have a right then you will have to pay premium to get that right so this party which is taking obligation will receive premium pay premium receive premium now maximum <coughs> profit and maximum loss okay now remember this when you are on the long position you are never going to lose more than the premium so maximum loss here is premium maximum loss here is premium both long call as well as long put when you are on the short position the whole idea of having the short position is to to earn the premium so which means maximum profit on the short side will never exceed the premium okay if you remember this the life is going to be much more easier for the call option maximum for the long side maximum loss is premium for the short side maximum profit is premium then what is the maximum profit here for call this is unlimited so if this is unlimited of course we know this loss is going to be unlimited this would be x minus p and this is going to be x minus p and then the break even points for call option it is x plus p and for put option it is x minus p now this long call is this a bullish position or bearish bullish, bullish. bullish. so you are expecting markets to go up how about short call bearish, bearish. bearish. how about long put bearish, bearish. bullish this is bullish so my question to you is let us say stock price is currently 100 you are expecting it to go up your bullish or bearish on the underlying asset bullish, bullish. so your bullish on the underlying asset so should we take long call or should we take short put so how to decide which one to enter when so when you are outrightly bullish okay i have just made up these words so outrightly bullish is in you are expecting significant jump this is a strategy but when you are mildly bullish this is a strategy so in the same fashion when you are outrightly bearish this is a strategy and when you are mildly bearish this is a strategy okay so you i think it's already there in your notes so what we will do is we will do an example of uh, this scenario have we done any example before to compare outrightly bullish versus mildly bullish okay so we'll do an example so you will understand why it works that way expected spot price is 170 okay this is scenario 1 and this scenario as 115 
Now observe this. Are you bullish here in the first instance? Yes. Are you bullish in the second instance? Yes. The only difference is here you are expecting prices to shoot up significantly and here you are expecting prices to <coughs> shoot up mildly. Are we okay? Now see what happens if you go on either of the strategy. So this is long call and this is short put. Now you have a right to buy at 100, you have a right to buy at 100, price in the market uh, 170, will you buy? Yes. So then your payoff would be 70 minus premium 16, how much is the profit? 54. So this is the amount of profit you are able to generate. Now the other person long put, he has a right to sell at 100, price in the market 170, will he sell? No. So then how much he will lose? 16. So how much will you earn? 16. So here your profit is how much? 16. What will you prefer? Of course this strategy. So when you are outrightly bullish, that means when you are expecting that the prices will shoot up significantly, then the strategy that we use is this. Now observe here. Again long call and short put. Everything else is same. You have a right to buy at 100. Price in the market 115. Will you buy? Yes. yes. So how much is your payoff? 15. But how much premium did you pay? 16. So how much is your profit? Minus 1. You've made loss of 1. Now short put. Will the other person exercise? No. So how much is your profit here? Premium of 16. What will you prefer? This strategy. So, when you are mildly bullish, okay, I have just made up these words to make things easier. So, when you are bullish but not significantly, then you should be here on the short put. But when you are significantly bullish, then you should be on the long call. What is the definition of significant? That depends. Depends on what is the amount of premium vis-a-vis -vis what is the distance between strike and expected spot. Write down please. So there are three scenarios, <coughs> three scenarios here. I want you to find out what would be the profit to the short call position. Alright, so I'm going to solve this now. <coughs> See, a lot of people struggle with short. Okay, and the simple solution to that is think of long. Think of long, invert the sign, your lives are going to be much more easier. So I'm going to do it for both long and short so right to buy at 1000 price in the market 1500 will you buy yes profit or pay off 500 premium 350 net profit 150 so if this guy is 150 this would be minus 150 right to buy at 2000 price in the market 2200 will you buy yes so pay off 200 premium 400 net profit minus 200 so here it would be plus 200 right to buy at 3000 price in the market 2920 will you buy no so here it is minus 270 this is plus 270 as simple as that so long and short again right to sell at 2500 price in the market 2300 will you sell yes pay off 200 profit premium 170 so profit 30 so here it would be minus 30. Right to sell at 3000, price in the market 2900, will you sell? Yes. yes. Pay off 100. Premium? So, minus 250, so this is plus 250. Will you sell here? No. So, minus 145 and plus 145. Are we okay with this? Now, what would have been the break-even point for this option? Break-even point for this option. The price at which none of the parties would have made profit or loss. 1350. Strike plus the premium. Here it would have been 2400. And here it would have been 3270. 
what would be the break even point here break even point here and break even point here are we okay so we've used x plus p plus p for call options and x minus p for put options profit graphs for option positions okay so we just want to whatever we've learned we put that into a graph and now those graphs are going to look either like this or like this there are going to be four versions so that graph would be made of two components one would be the horizontal leg and one would be the steeper or kind of vertical leg are we okay so you can make this graph simply by sticking to these two rules okay they're going to come in extremely handy so the first one if you are on the long position then the horizontal line is going to be below x axis okay that's because that's your loss of premium which is horizontal up to a particular level if you are on the short position then the horizontal line is going to be above the x axis okay this is rule number 1 rule number 2 if it's a call position then x is the strike price and break even point is x plus p so the shape of the arrow is going to be towards right if it's a put option x is the strike price and break even point is x minus p so shape of the arrow is going to be towards left so using this combination you can make those four graphs okay so i'm going to make them for you i'll give you time to do it later on just observe here let's start with long call okay so you simply build a graph like this for a long call now first it's long so horizontal line is going to be below so either that line is going to be like this or the line is going to be like this either of the two second what is going to be the shape of arrow shape of arrow towards the right so your graph should be like this are you following this yes no let's do it for short call now okay short call now it's a short position so horizontal line is going to be above so either the line would be like this or the line would be like this then it's a call option so direction is going to be towards right so which means your graph would be like this then again long put long put so tell me horizontal line above or below it should be below and shape of the arrow would be towards left so the line below and this is towards the left and then here so now we are on to short put the horizontal line will be above and shape of the arrow would be towards left so there is no arrow here it just hits this point have you okay with this now just a minute this this is the point where we have a kink okay kink as in it changes the direction from this place so the point of kink on this graphs is always the strike price okay so this would be the as in the strike price is here and the strike price is here and the point at which it cuts that x axis that is your break even point so this is x minus p x minus p x plus p x plus p then the horizontal line is always the premium okay so this is premium this is premium and then for put option maximum profit is x minus p and maximum loss is x minus p now you can make 
So what kind of question can you expect on this on the exams? They might give you a graph like this and then you would be given certain details of this option. So you would be given strike rate was 100, premium was 35. And then the question, the graph might say that this is point A, this is point B, this is point C and then you would be required to determine what is A, what is B, what is C. Now what is A, what is B, what is C can be determined if you can just figure out which point is what and what type of option we are looking at. So first the horizontal line, horizontal line is above. So that means it has to be short position. Then it, it seems to be moving in the right direction. That means it has to be call option. So we are looking at a short call. Then what we also know is that this is the premium. Then this is your strike price and this has to be strike price plus P. So this has to be 35. This has to be 100 and this point has to be 135. So these are the type of questions you should be able to solve if required. Will you be able to?